so this is a log box ppt so now let's open it what we are going to cover in this log box it is saying that we are covering the business process what is the business process of this log box then the configuration required for the log box uh, we need to maintain the customer master data because based on the customer master data system is going to fetch the information or trigger the information then what is the file format we have for the log box and how we can understand that file then how we can create a log box file for the testing and we can import the file for the posting so here also you will have a post processing concept like we have seen in the eps there is a post processing concept so here also we have the post processing concept under this if let's say some entry system is not able to process okay so for that we can do it manually and for that manually we have this uh, uh, post processing now what is the process of this log box it is saying that the customer will give the instruction to the bank that bank will be collecting the payment and this log box functionality is only available in the us this is only used for in the us or the, for the us companies we are using it and in the us banks uh, give this facility that they are going to collect the payment on the behalf of the customer and at the end of the payment at the end of the day whatever the payment they have collected the banks have collected whether those payment they, they have collected in the form of a dme payment or the ach payment or the wire payment or the check payment so all that information bank is going to send it to their customers bank is going to send to the customer that these are the payment we have received and we have deposited it in your account and after that that company is going to uh, map those payment with the open item we have for those payment against the customers let's say i was supposed to receive a payment from the customer a and customer a has deposited the money into the bank and bank has informed me that the customer a has deposited the money so the open item we have for that customer a so when we are uploading this logbox file so that open item for that customer a will be cleared up by the system which means that now we don't need to chase with the customer a because the line item got cleared so here that is the process we have it is saying that the customer is collecting the payment in the form of tax payment advices so bank is going to bank is going to receive the payment or uh, receive this these uh, payment on the behalf of the customer and it will get deposited into the logbox account bank logbox account actually will be maintaining account with the bank whatever the payment that will be collected by the by the bank that will get deposited into the logbox account and then it is saying that after the end of the day and again it is subject to the number of transaction we are having we are the bank is receiving the payment banking is receiving if the transactions are huge then the bank may send you multiple files during the day bank will just uh, send us the file through some middleware and that file will be received by us in the al11 uh, this sap drive as i just shared with you we have a folder for the ebs same we will have a folder for the logbox and that is a inbox in uh, incoming file folder we have for the logbox so whatever the file bank has sent us so that will get that will get stored automatically into that drive and we can set a program we have two option we can manually process it we can pick that file and we can manually process second option is in that folder we have uh, we have uh, we have written a program that whenever this file will come to into the folder so automatically the bag if the bag there would be a bad job which will be executed by the by the system and that file will be processed by the system automatically and post processing after the processing that file will get uh, shifted or transferred from from the active file to archive folder so it is saying that if we have received that file into the sap environment then it is going to process and the transition which system is going to post so these are the statuses we will have if we we'll upload that logbox file into the system so here we have the status as applied on account and unapplied and these statuses may be asked in the interview that okay what are the statuses you will have if you upload the logbox file so we have the status as applied in the case of applied so system has match your your invoice system has found your customer and system would be able to reconcile and it will be cleared up by the system it will be cleared off so it is saying that in the case of applied the system find the customer and the customer open item and matching the amount and will be able to clear off that line item in case of on account on, on account means on hold 
on hold because of the confusion because of some wrong information or incorrect information or half information so the system could able to match system could able to figure out the customer that okay who has sent us the money but but system not uh, able to find out the amount with which this uh, payment is to be mapped so the no matching amount is there so that is the reason we have put it or the system has put it that amount that line item on hold so again this on hold will be processed by, by the user under the post processing process then we have the unemployed which client unemployed means system doesn't find any customer or any uh, in any document number which could be matched with the open item so these are the statuses we have for the for the in case we upload this logbook file it is saying that uh, regarding this logbox a account is maintained by the company means our client with the bank and this account is uh, identified by with the po box number and address then the bank this client is saying that uh, the company asks its customer okay so the, our client will instruct our uh, their clientele that or whatever the uh, customer they have so they the, those customers need to send the money send the checks uh, remittances to the logbox po box address only and bank is going to collect those payments and it will they, the bank is going to deposit them into the company's account so secondly the bank will be also preparing a file and that file format again it could be different it may be mt940 format or a bi2 format so mostly we use the bi2 format because it is to be used for the us so we'll use this electronic file format that is the bi2 format which will have the information regarding the check received from the bank related to the check amount remittances detail we have the batch id batch number so all the details bank is going to send you and that file you are going to upload the so file is sent in electronic form from come from that uh, bank to come to the client server so it is entered and posted into the sap environment once the file is posted into the sap then system is going to generate a accounting entry and that accounting entry is debit the bank account and create the customer account so who have made the payment so it is also going to process a uh, process a bank entry and sub ledger entry so that is a sub ledger, sub ledger entry we can see we have a, another bank entry what is that we'll see both so here it is saying that thus the manual process of a check receipt entry we are doing through the f-28 that is the incoming payment so that can be avoided it is saying that for this logbox configuration first of all we need to set up the house bank relevant for the collection account so here we are assuming that we have a dedicated account for, uh, we have dedicated house bank responsible for the or uh, we have maintained purely for the incoming payment so that is the collection account we have set up and that house bank we need to attach with the logbox account id we have this logbox number convention we have it is a uh, seven digit and the id we can maintain it is seven character could be alphanumeric so this is the id we can maintain in the blue color and this uh, uh, white in the white background we can maintain the logbox number then next thing we have to maintain here the format that okay with which format we'll go with we'll go with the bi2 format or some other uh, file format we'll use so here you can just see the posting we can also activate that which type of posting we want to activate it is we are activating here the gl posting incoming customer payments so here we can have here the sub ledger posting as well as the gl posting then system should also maintain the customer bank details yes then select this checkbox otherwise you can reflect and then you can just see there is a checkbox for the partial payment if you want the customer to send the partial payment then you can select this uh, checkbox then system is going to accept the payment with the restable payment method for example we are expecting a payment of 100 but the customer has sent us a 60 then what will happen so system is going to process that 60 payment and system is going to generate a open item of 40. so we have come we have uh, come across that a residual payment method how it works so it is going to clear off your 100 line item in the open item it will get cleared to the uh, to the cleared item and and in place of 100 we'll have an open item of 40 where that will be cleared by the system then this is a uh, this is the account assignment we have and in this account assignment we need to give the destination and origin id so what's the destination id destination id is nothing but your ifsc code or the abi routing number 
and what is your origin uh, uh, origin id so origin id is nothing but your account number origin id is your account number and further it is saying that you will be giving the information for your company code housing and account information so here we will have the incoming clearing account we have the logbox account uh, here unapplied account means your logbox account then since we want to have the sub ledger posting for the customer and we also want to have the bank entry or the gl entry so for the gl entry which uh, posting key which document type we use we use the document type as essay and for the customer posting for the customer payment posting which document type we use we use the document type dz or dc so accordingly for the customer for the gl posting we use the posting key as 40 50 for debit credit and for the customer if you if there is a payment and we want to have the debit credit so we use the posting keys as 15 and 06 so this is the information or the uh, posting system we're going to do so we'll have that gl entry also in the system and sub ledger entry so under the gl entry your incoming clear account will be debited and your logbox account will be created and in the sub ledger entry the logbox account will be debited and your customer account will be created these are the two entries we'll have in the system then it is saying that this file processing we can have through the transition code flp2 we can upload this file and the post processing can be done under the transition code flp1 so like we have seen that feber okay so same way for the logbox if you want the post post processing you can go with the flp1 